Jolie here for seconds out with Idris Virgo. I've just spoken to Mark Hennessy Jr., the two most active fighters this year. Yes, yes. How are you doing? The one and only Idris Virgo. I first come singing on the stage with this <laughs> mic. But oh crap. Oh, don't mess it. How are you doing? You're right. Yeah, I'm, I'm Where's really, my opponent really today? Good. What's That's, going on? It's a great question. We'll set some up soon. I'm the first person in range, so... <laughs> I'm the first person in range. Yeah. But yeah, very active this year. Talk to me about um, how you think you're going to do against a very experienced opponent this weekend. Um, I've got to give respect to um, is it Kevin... Yeah, McCauley. Kevin, Kevin McCauley. McCauley. I've got to give respect to him. I can't call him number nine because mm -hmm. he's a veteran. Had a lot of fights. Um, so I'm looking forward to this fight, to be honest with you. First fight in middleweight. Mm -hmm. I've got someone quite decent. I know it's going to come and have it, so that's um, a win-win for me. So, um, being one of the most active fighters in the country with Mick Hennessy, my brother, my <laughs> brother now, yeah, oh, brother, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, I'm sorry to be honest with you. As I said before in my first interview, you're going to see me, see me more than Christmas, and I'm here now, and again, on Hennessy Show yeah. on Friday night. Um, after a, an interview I did with you, a couple of months back, you said you talk the talk and you walk the walk. Yep. How do you handle that pressure? And do you sometimes train that extra mile, run that extra mile, box that extra hour, just because you know you might have a bit more pressure? Um, pressure all started when I left Love Island. To be honest with you, being in the public eye, people knew who I was. Um, since I left Love Island, I've got one camera, two cameras, three <laughs> cameras pointing at me. Everyone's in the room. Yeah, it's it's a second nature to me now. So um, I'm used to it. Um, I drive. From the pressure, I like the pressure. You give me the pressure, I perform better. So, um, as I said before, man, it's a win-win for me. I'm enjoying myself, and I'm the next big thing. And you better get behind me now than lay around because I'm telling you now, this bus you're not going to be running after. I'll <laughs> leave you behind. <laughs> and with the talk, it comes with a lot of people calling you out. One yeah, of those, uh, Lee Cutler. So you're making Who a lot is of he? TikToks about him. Who is he? Who is Lee Cutler? When's the last time he fought? Good exactly. Next question, please. <laughs> is he, <laughs> is is nobody. he a future opponent that you'd like to fight? One, I don't know who he is really. He's seven and That's 0. a lie. But seven. anyway, <laughs> he's seven and zero. Do you think uh, um, maybe next year? It could happen next year. Um, you never know what, happen, what could happen next year. Um, I should be signing a deal with um, McKenzie, so I should be with Hensy Sports. I'm delighted to join the team and be a part of the mm -hmm. team. Let's go. Posters coming soon. Yeah. <laughs> also, I was waiting for one of these. I was thought I was going to walk in today and be like. Yeah, <laughs> I'm a handsome guy, you know what I mean? But um, other than that, yeah, um, we'll see what happens. If he, if he wants to fight next year, we could put down a card, could speak to my team and go from there. Mm -hmm. I'm a boring you. Because you're just like... <laughs> <laughs> you're still obviously uh, very early in your... <laughs> I'm joking, go on, sorry. Still early in your pro career. Yeah. But when would you look for titles, maybe the end of next year? Listen... I told you before, anyone in the middleweight division, I'm coming for you. You've got a title, mate. You better start running because I'm coming to get that title. You know what I mean with my, well, it is kind of moves, mate. But anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, next year, if I can, and next year, I'll go for a title. All depends on my team. Speak to John Pegg, speak to um, Hensy Sport, and we'll put a show on for you live on Channel 5. Come on. You're not going to get anything better than that. Let's go. Let's go on. Let's be honest. But anyway, next question. <laughs> and is this, so I could talk is, all day. is this the division yeah. you're going to stay at? Because I know um, you've sort of switched. Yeah, so I'll knock all you fools out in the middleweight division. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go, what? The super middleweight, and I call you fools when out. When you say all the fools, is is Mark or Hennessy? Oh, no, 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 no. I, I don't want this smoke. Oh, smoke with this geezer. This geezer is freaking sharp. I don't want that smoke. Oh, I'll stay. Not you. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> nah, I don't want that smoke. Nah, it's only joking, of course. No, but his titles are something that you look for then, of course. Yeah, um, titles, um, more TV shows. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just going to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, it's not a ride. It's just, it's just how it is. Mm -hmm. I'm the next big superstar in the making. Yeah. Handsome, good looking, talk the part. Everything, man. I've got the full package, mm -hmm. and that's the truth. And before I let you go, <laughs> could you look down the barrel of the lens and tell people why you're called the body breaker? I call the body breaker because you see these hands right here. As soon as they hit your body, <laughs> you're breaking. And that power is just ridiculous. Anyway. The Body Breaker, Friday night, Channel 5. See me action. Oosh.